Hey, RCA Church family and others, I hope you've been having a great week so far. And Can you believe it's already Wednesday? You know, this is the point of the week we start looking forward to the weekend, but, but also I like to look back, you know, and remember the faithfulness of God and the goodness of God. And, and looking back to this Sunday, we wrapped up our Live It and Give It series with a, with a message that was all about giving our faith away, all about evangelism. I know that's a big churchy word, but the picture of that is just rescue. We get the incredible opportunity to, you know, just like houses burn down, sometimes people's lives burn down and they need a word of encouragement. They need prayer. Um, they need someone to come along beside them and help them. And it's in those opportunities that if we're aware and we care and we show the love of Christ, that the Lord can open a door to someone's heart. And we just talked about that. We talked about 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, where it, it, he, he challenges us. The Apostle Paul says, hey, you are ambassadors for Christ. It's as if God was making his appeal through you. I mean, wow, just, just think about that. That word ambassador, is, it's, it means like a diplomat, someone uh, who is able um, to, to work with people in a, an effective and a tactful way. What would our lives be like? What would the body of Christ look like? What would the kingdom of God look like if, if all Christians would get it through our heads that, hey, we need to be effective and tactful. We need to be the best diplomats that we can, the best ambassadors that we can for the cause of Christ. I mean, I think that would revolutionize how we view and how we see evangelism. And it just really comes down to just a few things. Like if you're gonna be a good ambassador for Christ, you gotta know Christ. Like you gotta know his heart. You gotta know his love and his compassion and for his forgiveness for people. And, and, and you've had to have to experience that yourself. And I know that many of you have, and there's no greater experience than being able to share what Jesus has done in our life with somebody else. And then the next thing is you've got to know people, right? Like Jesus hung out with, with all the wrong people, you know, with sinners and tax collectors and prostitutes. I mean, he got in trouble for hanging out with all the wrong people. You know, I hope you're hanging out with some wrong people. I hope you're hanging out with some people that don't have everything together. I hope you're hanging out with some people that don't go to church regularly or, you know, maybe, maybe curse or they have an issue or a problem or a sin in their life that they struggle with because those are the kinds of people that Jesus would be hanging out with. And he would be loving them and showing them mercy and pointing them into the direction of the kingdom. And that's the opportunity that as diplomats for the kingdom of God we, we have. And, and you do that by the third thing is just you take action, right? Like, what does that look like? Maybe showing up to somebody's ball game, maybe inviting someone over for supper or, you know, God forbid, inviting them to church service for Easter Sunday coming up here in a few weeks. Just being involved, just being a good neighbor, being a good friend, just being relational. And uh, as things happen in people's lives, um, being there for them, to encourage them, to, to pray for them. Uh, to, to be a voice of, of reason and understanding and love. You know, I just believe that the doors that the Holy Spirit will open for us in those times will be nothing short than of miraculous. And I just want to challenge you. Sometimes we make evangelism into this big, complicated thing. It's no more difficult than just loving people and being a friend and encouraging and pointing them to Jesus, both by your, by your life and sometimes even with your words. I encourage you to take that challenge up. You can do it. You can be an ambassador for Christ uh, this week. And we encourage you to join us tonight, 7 p.m. for our refuel service. We hope to see you there. God bless.